Today I'm going to show you how to calculate delta S for the following reactions. In this exercise, we have four reactions and I have already searched the entropy S of all of those substances. Now let's begin with the reaction 8. In this reaction, we have two times ethane produced one time ethane and one time ethene. As we know, delta S is the amount of entropy S of the products minus the amount of entropy S of the reactions. So, in this case, delta S is equal entropy S of ethane plus entropy S of ethene minus 2 times entropy S of ethene and the amount of delta S is minus 8.58 June per mole Kelvin the minus sign means the, the chaos of this reaction is decreased so we'll do the same way with reactions B, C and D in reaction B delta S is equal the entropy S of silicium chloride minus 2 times the entropy S of chloride minus entropy S of silicium and it is minus 245.67 June per mole Kelvin. The chaos of this reaction is also decreased, just the same reaction A. Now we move to the reaction B, sorry C. Delta S of reaction C is equal entropy S of carbon dioxide plus entropy S of lead oxide minus entropy S of lead carbonate and the amount of delta S is plus 151.44 June per mole Kelvin in this case the chaos is increased because of the plus sign. Now we move to the last reaction, reaction D. Delta S of reaction D is equal to times entropy S of water plus two times entropy S of sulfur dioxide minus 2 times entropy S of hydrogen sulfate and minus 3 times entropy S of oxygen and it is minus 151.581 June per mole Kelvin the chaos of the reaction D is also decreased Thank you for watching.